Hey, this is your buddy Jim, and welcome to Slop in the Shop. Uh, this week we got our typical mixture, and I'm going to go ahead and put an announcement in the opening instead of just throwing a separate one, which was my original idea. Folks, uh, if you watched Slop in the Shop last week, you probably may see ads, and you'll probably start seeing them. For some reason, uh, I don't know where it's because I had been in the ad programs before, they cut it to a thousand, or it was YouTube just needing to get everybody that's eligible into the ad business because of their revenue stream being cut because of the COVID. Don't have no idea. But the reason I'm bringing it up is I promised you I wasn't going to do it. So now it's happened somewhat without my direct involvement let's just say so now you've got them so we're going to have to live with them so with that being said hey if you see them just go through them if i don't get much revenue i'm not going to be mad you click through the ads um, that's just part of youtube and i guess youtube needs to get everything off of everybody they can so with that being said uh I appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I appreciate you helping me get to this point. And I apologize. And I, I hopefully will know what kind of income this is going to generate. But I, I think maybe that in a quart, maybe that in a dollar, I get a cup of coffee. So we'll see. So, with all that being said, I hope you enjoy this week's pig food. It's kind of a mixture again. Uh, try to throw some different stuff in for you, stuff like that. So, uh, guys and gals. You just gather everybody around. The red-booted pigs are being fed. Hope you enjoy the pig food this week. Hey folks, this is a foam video because I'm fixing to mow grass. I just installed the foam wheel, foam wheel back on the mower. So we're gonna go see how it does. So, uh, wish me luck. Here's the tire. And here we go. And this didn't work, you can see right here. And you can see right there. So, this is a failure. Could be because the wheel was bent. Could be because the tire didn't blow out and is old. And it could be for zero steering all the pressure you put on them side to side. The foam's in there and it was really good and solid when I put it up. But it just didn't seem to work like I would, would have hoped. I put it on today as experiment. So guess what? It's, a, it's just a failure. You learn from your mistakes. You learn from your errors. So I just wanted to put that in the slop so you guys could see, yep, we have things that go wrong sometimes. So here we go. How much you can see in here, but you got to sometimes, one thing about the way this saw is made is the uh, tires they get a lot of metal on them so what I found to doing especially if I do a lot of cutting like I've done here is periodically I'll just take me a brush with the guard off kind of just open it up like that and, and just brush it out just so that I get the rubber the little chips off my tires get a little more tire life that way okay I'm gonna I've got another project here to do right quick. I'm going to start on it. I'm going to work on it later. What this is is a reel I've had for a while and the little piece here that gives you the wind up is gone. And I've been studying on it. I was over sawing working on the uh, <coughs> the other project just a few minutes ago and I decided I just you know how sometimes you just get the Thinking about stuff, man, that just didn't want to come. Sometimes that does happen. What happened is, okay, I can still screw in and out if it's just at this. So, I put an in nut cert down in it and tightened up on the plastic. And we're going to make a handle for this. So, uh, you get to come along for that, too. So, I must, I just forgot that the, the top through was tight. So the first step is figuring out how to mount the handle in it. So now I've got to 
do the rest of the engineering it takes to to make the rest of the project. So now I know I've got a quarter inch. You got quarter inch there to work with. And what that gives us is the opportunity to, to uh, just use a quarter inch bolt or a quarter inch stud or something of that nature and make this work really good for us. So I'll uh, bring you back later. Okay, one of the things, I don't know if I've showed this or not, is these uh, little uh, thumb screws I made a long time ago. What I did when I first got my saw, and most of these saws are the same way, I first got mine, I'm changing the blade for this job, I first got my saw, the, uh, and this, you know, Allen, not Allen, uh, basically uh, Phillips screws in it. So changing a blade always meant hunting a tool. So the first thing I done was drilled and tapped all these out to standard and used quarter inch 20 set screws and made these thumb screws. And that's been handy, handy, handy. What I'm doing now is boring out the soft jaws that I have to get close to what I want. So, I've got to hold these pretty damn gum thin. So hard jaws is going to hold them. So what I've done is I'm just getting me a reference to kind of work with. So I know what I kind of need to do here. And we're going to come back. We'll, we'll work on these. We've got to make these a little. So. We'll just have to kind of ease them up before the part will slide in. Well, this is just going to be a. I mean, it, 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 it's, and it may have to have some more depth, some more stuff done. So we just kind of got to play it there. Right Soft jaws to say it, it, it is always good. These I made myself out of aluminum. And I've used them on a, I, I've actually only used them on one job back when I made the, the um, back when I made the uh, coasters a while back for, for years. So I know I'm going to go, you know, I'm just trying to be careful. You know, that's a lot of interrupted cut. I got this one of my adapted bowing bars in right now. So, and I can't take much off, so this is going to be more or less trial by error and try to get us a... Uh, that's going to be just about good enough. All right, I'm going to have to take a look, go in just a little deeper. I think that's going to give us close to what we want right there. We may have to go in there and put me a little different kind of relief here in a second. You notice I ain't going to be holding on a whole dang lot when I do this, too. Yeah, I'm going to need to put more relief in there. That's the trick with all this, is trying to get the right release and all that stuff. And then you got to hug, and you ain't really got much. To, this is a really, really thin part. So it's going to be really tricky to work with. I'm not in the mood to have something come out in my face. I don't, you know,
don't like that. I gotta find something else. Well, the Amazon man come. Uh, excuse me, I was getting low on oil cups. In fact, I've got them all give away. I mailed the last two out recently. And the last batch I bought come from Hobby Lobby. And Hobby Lobby's not open right now, so... I looked these up on Amazon. These are Sergeant Arts, and they're still fairly reasonable. I think I got 12 of them for something like 10 bucks. So, uh, these will be the next modified cups. I'll just have to work on them I get time. I don't know where I, I may leave the lids on them to give away and let the new owners decide what to do. These are all white, so that's another project. <coughs> My handheld this morning, and this is my garage in the house. Uh, I don't know if I've showed this. This is my new racing tire for the car. They're wrapped up in here. Which I think the main reason, this here paper tube you see laying on the floor. Brown truck come the other day. I have a project that I need some 5 8 steel, pretty well slick rods for. And you'll see later. So I got on eBay and through Granger ordered it. So it shipped here right on a couple of days. So uh, there's some more pig feed. Hey, I'm gonna mention something from the clock this week. Uh, you might be noticing I'm cutting one inch bar for a video I'm making. While I'm drinking coffee. And one thing is, a lot of people get tore up about rusty stock. I store all mine outside because I don't have a lot of room. But I will even say one more thing. I worked for 40 years for eating. Probably the last 25 or 30, we kept all our stock outside, all our castings and forgings or whatever. I've often heard this and the old machinists have said that when they rust like this, it actually gives the material, it makes it kind of ages the material most cases you're going to turn this stuff down into something uh, i have some material occasionally i get in like drill rods and stuff that i won't preserve a finish on and i try to keep that somewhere it won't rust but in my shop rust is a problem anyway because of it i'm thinking very seriously about doing like some people and buying a dehumidifier and just letting it run in here all the time but I just thought I'd say is, if you see rusty stock, don't get tore up. I just clean mine up as I turn it. Now some folks say, if you, put, if you put your cutting oil all on it, you really ain't got a problem. So It's just, it's what I have to deal with. It's the way my material is. Quite frankly, I just don't have the storage space. I may, later on, I don't even know. If I, if I could rearrange here and clean that little building up, I would get it out of the weather. But still, without climate control, this stuff's going to run. Ain't much you can do about it. So. It, it, it is what it is. All right, laying here on my workbench is my tailstock. I started on this project I'm working on with the tailstock, and I had all kinds of problems trying to, My taper was crazy. So I'll start trying to adjust the tailstock. So what I run into was my screws was bad, and this wasn't adjusting. So I just tuck it off, laid it here at the bench. And this is just typical. Uh, I don't want to say this because I've never had no trouble. I thought Grizzly, well, one of the things I'll say, Grizzly's usually pretty good about stuff. Uh, so I don't know this is probably one of them Chinese screws from China low quality screws so I just stopped tore it apart went and got some new fresh Allen screws put in the machine so I'm going to reline everything up and try to get my taper and reset it and then just go back to the project so I just got a mess folks I've been working on a project and I had some trouble so what we're doing today is we're actually putting the taper out of it. So we had taper, and you'll notice a while ago I said I had my tail stock laying on my bench. 
So what I'm doing is I'm pulling this thing out about 12 inches, give me a piece of stock, and I'm going to, I'll save the stock for something else. And we're turning it down, it's got it's not quite the perfect center. And uh, I'm going to take the of this, and I'm going to get this tail stock back in line. The problem I ran into is the screws, is a typical Chinese saw screw. Then I remain gas tape. So this is a, I pulled this bar out about 12 inches. We will see how much tape we got to put. We'll fix it. So it's going to take a little bit of time. And that's all I'm doing is taking the skin cut. I got a little run out up here in the upper end. It's not clean. As long as I get a, enough to get some measurements with, I'm going to be happy, but I'm going to get the tape around it before I go off my project. So. turn this over this way. The key is is to get a measurement. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it. I'm just going to pick this jack up. This is a little bit hard to do, but it's the best way to do it because you can just slide right off and then we just go in there with the saw. Hmm, I didn't have this problem on mine. Hang loose, let me get something. Hold a pair of ice grips. Be right back to you. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the pig feed. Um, I try to put this together for you every week. We're trying to get more machining and less blogging, but a lot of it just depends on what I'm doing that particular week. I've been in the shop a little more than the last several weeks. Got a little more things going on. I've got projects that's worked on, pieces that come out of it. I've got a little, couple little other projects there to to do that I'm gonna work on planned. Um, I've really had a lot of racing work to do with these jacks and, and spacers and stuff and then there's a little extra bonus video that goes along with it. So with all that being said I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you like what you see hit the like button. If you got something to say make comment. If you got friends that are interested in my videos or you think they'd be interested share. Hey, all those things are important. We're still growing, and we want to grow with you. Thank you for being a supporter of my channel. Thank you for watching Slop in the Shop. We'll see you in the next video.